15th, the city will officially have a new treasurer. Reporter Leslie Lopez introduces us to Dana Cortez, the employee set to fill Linda Barnett's shoes. She's a mother of four and has stepped into some big shoes. She recently has taken over a well-respected position here in Torrance, and today we get a chance to get to know her. I guess you'd call it my little trademark there. Everybody knows that I love purple. And luckily for the city of Torrance, she also loves number crunching. I always seem to be really good with money, and I always seem to be really good with numbers. And um, when I was going to college and I was working uh, in the you know private sector, I don't know, but it's just one of those fluky things that my boss would say, hey, you know, my bookkeeper's not here. Can you, you know, take care of this bookkeeping for me? Cortez started her work in the government sector in Hermosa Beach. After several years, she took that knowledge and found a valued position in Torrance, which would lead to an even greater opportunity 10 years later. I started off in a small city, so I got to experience uh, several uh, facets of public financing and then from there kind of figured out that I really, really liked the treasury end of it and then kind of took that experience and came to Torrance. In the June 2010 election, Cortez ran a favorable campaign and was elected as Torrance's new city treasurer, a position held by Linda Barnett, who is retiring after 16 years. I was very, very blessed to have the endorsement, obviously, of the current city treasurer, Linda Barnett, and I'm also fortunate to get the endorsement of Mayor Scotto and the entire council. Cortez not only had the support of the entire city council, but also from four special ladies. I'm a proud mother of four beautiful daughters. They went to a lot not all, but a lot of my forums. Um, a lot of them walked precincts with me and talked to people and knocked on doors. And if you ask Cortez if she always knew she wanted to be a city treasurer, she has an interesting story to tell. My intention was, because I was an international relations major, was that I wanted to be like Condoleezza Rice. That was my thing. I wanted to be Connie. What had happened was I had been accepted to Princeton and my mom got the letter and so she had a friend read it to her and she found out that the school was back east so my mom hid it from me. For the USC graduate, unfortunately or perhaps fortunately, by the time she found out of her acceptance into Princeton, it was a little too late. SC was real close to where my home was at and I said, okay, my mom says, perfect choice, you get to stay home and you know, you're, you know, you'll be here, and I'm like, okay. Cortez's hard work has afforded her a successful career that she feels is exactly where she's supposed to be. She's looking forward to the next four years serving the Torrance community, creating a new trademark for herself as the city's treasurer. For City Cable 3, I'm Leslie Lopez. Over the next four years, Cortez will manage funding for capital improvement projects like City Hall's One Stop and the Green Transit Bus Line. Well, coming up after the break, we'll have a preview of the local sports scene. Now here's a look at the five-day forecast. 